Okay, hi semua Okay, selamat datang ke channel YouTube Teacher Intan So, pernah nampak tak soalan macam ni? So, soalan macam ni adalah soalan Quadratic function, fungsi kuadratik Okay, dalam silibus KBSM Ini adalah uh, dalam bab 3, chapter 3 Tapi dalam KSSM, dia adalah dalam chapter 2 Okay So, kalau ada soalan macam ni, apa nak buat? Okay, dia kata uh, in diagram 10 to 6 is the maximum point for the graph with the equation y equal to h minus a x plus k square. Okay, and then uh, question A, dia kata find the values of a, h and k while b, dia kata um, find the equation of the graph when the graph is reflected at the s axis. Okay, you must know okay, about the vertex form. Okay, so this is uh, the vertex form. Okay, from this form, we know that, okay, uh, actually the value of A determines on the shape of the graph. Okay, when A is positive, means the shape of the graph will be U-shaped graph. So, this graph will be, um, has minimum point. Okay, so this is the minimum point. Whilst when A is negative, okay, when A is negative, okay, when A is negative, uh, the graph will be in shape so it has maximum point okay so why is the vertex form is very important because from this form actually you can determine the maximum point within one second all right so in order to um, determine the the value eh, the, the maximum point or minimum point Okay, this is in form of coordinate. So, the x is, okay, in bracket you have x plus p. So, you equate this x plus p with 0. Okay, so when x plus p equal to 0, means your x is negative p. So, this is the x coordinate of the minimum point. Okay, what about the y coordinate? So, you just look at the last part of the vertex form okay means this is q okay this is q so this q actually is y coordinate of the min max point so we have negative p q as max min point okay same ah huh? okay understand okay back to the question okay how to solve this question okay so you copy down the quadratic function given in the question is y equal to h minus e x plus k square actually um, this one you have to rearrange back so this is um, exactly as the original vertex form means it should be negative a in front yeah? negative a and then x plus k square plus h so from this vertex form you can determine the maximum point as i said just now maximum point within one second why maximum because the shape of the graph is n shape so the maximum point okay this part you equate to zero then your x is negative k so this is the x coordinate of the max point while the y coordinate you take the last part so negative k h is your maximum point okay now by referring to the diagram okay you can see that the maximum point is to six okay the maximum point is to six means negative k h actually is to six so by doing comparison we know that the x coordinate negative k actually is two so your k is negative two by comparing y coordinate we know that h is six so settle these two values so what about value of a okay the value of a actually okay we write this as okay we substitute k and h so we have y equal to negative a x um k that just now is negative two so you just replace with negative two square and h is six okay now um your target okay to get the value of a actually from the diagram okay from the diagram 
other than max point to 6, we have another point 0, 4, which is this is the y intercept. Okay, so we can use this negative uh, 0, 4, okay, which is x is 0, y is 4. Then you can substitute into uh, the vertex form. Okay, like this. So we have 0, 4, meaning that. Okay, 0, 4, meaning that. Okay, your y is 4. So 4 equal okay, a is a lah. Alright, and your x means 0. Okay, x is 0. So 0 minus 2 square plus 6. Alright. Okay, so you do calculation until you get a. So this is very simple actually. We have 4, negative a. So negative 2 square is 4. And then plus 6. Okay, this is linear equation. So you bring negative 6, oh sorry, you bring 6 to the left, it becomes 4 minus 6. So we have negative 4a equal to negative 2. So your a is negative 2 over negative 4. And then don't forget to do simplific simplification. Your a is 1 over 2. Okay, settle. Okay, settle the a part. Okay, so the b part is asked for. Okay. Uh, the equation of the graph and the graph is reflected at the x axis. Okay, now I give you uh, the diagram so that you can understand better. Okay, this is the the graph, the original graph. The blue, the blue one is the original graph. Okay, what if we reflect uh, this graph? Okay, um, you reflect the graph at the x axis. So instead of n shaped graph, the graph will be u shaped graph. Okay, now. Look at the max point. It becomes minimum point. Which x is remain unchanged. Which x is 2. Whilst the y instead of 6. It becomes negative 6. And since we know that. A actually um, determining the shape. Either u or n. So since the shape is u shape. So A will become positive. Okay, so this is your minimum point to negative 6. Okay, okay now. You have y equal to negative 1 over 2 x minus 2 square plus 6. So this is a uh, equation for your for your n graph, okay, n shape graph. Okay, if the graph is reflected, uh, the minimum points, the minimum point become to negative 6 means only this part okay only this part the y part should be changed to negative 6 x remain and this a also you have to change to positive okay change a to positive so your the equation for the reflected graph will be y equal to 1 over 2 x minus 2 square Minus 6. That's it. Very simple. If the blue graph is reflected at the y axis, okay? So you can uh, see that the shape is maintained as remain as n shape. Meaning that A is maintained negative. So now, uh, what can you see about the max point? Okay? The y is still the same. Y is 6 but uh, the x instead of 2 when 2 is reflected reflected on the left okay on the left okay at the y axis so it becomes negative 2 okay now what is the equation for the green graph okay so this is um, the original the blue graph okay so if the graph is reflected the x axis so we have y okay um, a is remain as negative negative 1 over 2 but then your x, okay, instead of 2, your x is negative 2. So, you should write this as x plus 2. Okay, because I said that x plus 2 equal to 0, so x is negative 2, right? So, you have negative 1 over 2, x plus 2 square, and then uh, the y remain as 6. Uh, so, this is the equation uh, for the graph. If the graph is reflected at the y axis, so this is common that uh, the equation that can ask you like uh, this way okay da